Hello and welcome back. This is Greg French. Today we're going to look at Part Image. Part Image is a great and uh, useful tool that's a Linux uh, product. Uh, I'm using it today on a live uh, Linux CD. I've opened up a couple of um, terminal sessions and the uh, first one here we're going to type in uh, make directory. It's a Linux command. We're going to make uh, backup. Backup is where we're going to store store some images. Go ahead and hit enter. We've made backup. Uh, backup is uh, going to be a place again where we're going to store uh, some backup images that we're going to create from uh, part image. Part image is a, is a tool that we use to backup complete partitions. I always uh, tell my students you need at least one extra partition on your hard drive so you can use it as a backup partition. Windows XP uh, eventually will become unstable, corrupted, or uh, infected and just stop working. Uh, you load lots of programs on Windows XP and take programs off that fragments your directory uh, or your registry and it also fragments your hard drive. Windows requires a lot of maintenance to keep running. The best Windows ever runs is when you first install it. So by installing uh, Windows XP and then creating a backup image of it, you can reinstall that image anytime you need to give you a fresh copy of Windows. It only takes a few minutes to back up, it only takes a few minutes to restore. So next we're going to uh, mount, um, in this terminal session we're going to start part image. I'm going to start it using the super do, well, su. DO is the command for super do and it's going to be part image. This gives me pretty much administrative rights over part image. E -G -E. Now part image started up. You can see that uh, we've got a listing of the hard drive devices on this computer and it's HDA1, HDA2, HDA5, HDA6, and HDA7. Now, one is the primary partition. Two is the extended. You can see that these are in a FAT32 uh, file system format. Five, six, and seven are logical drives. Now, Windows XP is installed in HDA2 as logical uh, drive five. So HDA5 is my logical drive for Windows XP. That's what I want to back up. And I want to put it in HDA7, which is my backup. So I'm going to move this down to HDA5, where Windows XP resides. I'm going to step this down. Let's see here. Hit the tab. Tab moves your cursor down. Uh, before we can type in and execute this, I want to put it in the backup. I'm going to put it in the backup directory, which is going to be uh, HDA7. And I'm going to reroute it to HDA7 in just a minute. And I'm going to type in my file name, winxp.img. The file extension I'm using just shows to me that that's an image that I've created. Now I'm going to move back to my other terminal session. In my other terminal session here, I'm going to mount that drive. The drive I need to mount is where I'm going to be storing the files. So I'm going to use the mount command M-O-U-N-T space dash T for my file system. My file system is VFAT. That means it's a Microsoft uh, file system. And it's going to be DEV for device. Everything in Linux is a device and in order to use it you have to mount it. So we're going to mount HDA 7, which is my backup directory, and I'm going to designate this or reroute it to my backup that I've created. Hit enter on this, or everything goes well, I didn't get any errors. So now HDA7 is going to become the backup folder. So everything gets rerouted to backup. Let's go back to the other terminal session. Uh, everything's fine here. Uh, in order to go to the next screen, you hit F. This is the next screen. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and leave everything on here as it is. Hit F5. This is where you can enter a description. If you don't want to enter a description, just press enter. 
moves to the next page. It says the following file image already exists. Okay, I've already done this once, so I'm going to have to, to uh, add a new file name, so I'll do that. WinXP.im2 for my second image. Or I could overwrite. Let's go down here and just overwrite it. Tab. Overwrite. Now it should start here. Just hit one tab one more time. This just shows your uh, file information for this particular partition. And hit enter. And it should start. And it's starting. Uh, you can see that uh, I've got 19.53 gigabytes on this partition. Plenty of room. Uh, estimated time remaining is only 3 minutes and 30 seconds about. So this goes pretty quick. Uh, I'm backing up almost 2 gigs of information. I'm doing this inside of a virtual environment, but to the computer and to these programs, it looks like a real hard drive. Move this over just a little bit if I can. You can see the time elapses is 39 seconds, 40 seconds. Time re estimated time remaining is 3 minutes, 40 seconds approximately. Speed uh, 360 megabytes per minute. Now this is going to take a little bit of time, so I'm going to go ahead and break right now. We'll come back in about three and a half minutes. Okay, operation is successful. Take a look here. Operation is successful. Time elapsed 3 minutes and 37 seconds. Speed was 447 megabytes per minute. Uh, data copied was uh, 1.58 gigabytes. Everything went good. Now, to, in order to uh, uh, reverse this process or restore, uh, we just go ahead and open up uh, part image again. S U D O P A R T I M A G E. And you can see we're back. Now it says up here at the top partition to save or restore. Now we're going to put this one on uh, AD or HDA5. Tab down. And it's going to come from the backup folder again. Backup. The name of the file is winxp.img. But uh, this time we're going to add some zeros to it because part image adds zeros as a final extension. So in case you do a second uh, backup, it'll become 001. So that's done. Let's hit. Uh, if we're going to restore, so we just bring our our, our little uh, down, and we just hit the space bar, and that moves the asterisk, asterisk down to restore. So now hit F5, and the next page is fine, and we'll go ahead and press Enter to start. And it says, "Do you really want to restore?" And yes, we do. So now it's doing it just the opposite. It's going to restore that image that we that we created or saved. Estimated time again remaining is about four minutes. So this is a pretty fast process. Uh, again, this is part image, uh, both backing up a partition and restoring a partition. This is one utility you should try out. Thank you very much for your time. Bye.